Kiera is one special little girl. She's the social butterfly at the school. Everybody knows Kiera. She's like this ball of energy, and I think she's kind of very motivational to an awful lot of other people. I'm a sixth grader at Marvin Ridge Middle School, and I'm the North Carolina MDA ambassador. I've always wanted to write books, so I'm going to be a world famous author. Can you just your sander? Hello. When I went to their home the first time, it was to discuss using a manual wheelchair for Kira, and the relationship just went from there. The school was being quite conservative. They wanted her to use a mobility device more often because they were afraid that she would fall and get hurt at school. And the parents wanted her, and Kira wanted to continue to walk as much as she could. So I felt like for a period of time, I was kind of like the liaison between the family and the school. He was phenomenal from the get-go. From the first time we met him, through the whole wheelchair process, he worked with us because he knew this was gonna be a hard transition for everybody, including Kira. He really understood that we weren't quite ready for some things yet, and the doctors are telling us she needs to continue to move as long as she can. We um, kind of resisted going down that power chair path. He's like, I think she's gonna need the power chair more sooner than later. I know this is a very difficult decision for you guys to accept, but it's gonna happen. And he's like, I will be here to help you guys get through this process. I just wanted to open their mind to it. And they allowed me to bring one out to the house. You know, we left it there for a while for her to try. I was actually like, 75% terrified, 25% excited, because I didn't feel like 100% ready for it yet, because I was afraid I won't be able to walk anymore, and that I won't really be able to do what I wanted to anymore. Being faced with something new that involved my disability had me like, yeah. The first day that she gets in the power chair and she grabs the joystick and just drives, to me, is huge because all of a sudden she's independent. I don't think Wendy and Rob saw the same open doors at that point as I did. And I understand that because in reality it is the progression <laughs> of a disease. It's hard because you want to be happy for him, but she's losing her mobility. So you're sad the disease is progressing and she's having to use this tool. But thank God we have the tool, you know? And she can now do things that she couldn't do at the time. Ready? Instead of having to have someone push you around every day at school, you could just simply push a button to go wherever you need to and hang out with your friends. It was just really exciting. <laughs> you can definitely tell her independence has grown and even her confidence when she cheerleads. You will see the people just amazed at her because she's zipping all over the football field. Just seeing Kira and the way she is, you could tell that she's thriving. If she wants to try something new, I will find a way to help her do it because I do want her to be as normal as she can be. After school, I've been doing therapeutic horseback riding. Well, there's a long distance between from where they have to park to get to where they ride their horses. And it's a good feeling to see one of your clients, you know, getting out and about versus being homebound. When you're up on the horse, it feels really cool to be able to like be and feel taller. You can almost feel the power of the horse. I love it. It makes me feel very proud as a dad and more for her because you can see how happy she is. Kira's done so many cool things that we never would have gotten involved with had it not been for her disability. There's just a different path for them than what you might have expected to begin with. Now when I see her in her power chair, she's running around talking to everybody. She does not need to be by her mom and dad's side. Todd, he's just amazing. He's always there, no matter what you would need or when you needed it. You could always rely on him. 
I just want to say thank you. Um, I love him so much. I love him. Just what happens when you develop that relationship with a family. I try to always tell people, you know, a wheelchair, whether it be manual or power, use it as a tool. You don't have to use it all the time. And it often opens more doors than it closes.